come back. So we're now in the sixth uh, differentiation rule. We have now product rule. Okay, so let's start. Product rule, we have two functions, uh, u and v, uh, be differentiable functions. So take note, instead of f of x and g of x, we use a variable to represent a function because this will be uh, much easy or easier for you to remember the formula. Okay, so if it's a product between two functions, uh, we have u times v, we have this derivative here. We have u dv plus v du. Okay, so you, actually in some books, so that it may be easy to memorize, uh, they actually just use uh, u dv plus v du. Okay, so to remember, you can actually try to use this chant u dv plus v du. Okay, so derivative of uv is just u dv plus v d. So let's try to prove this. So we start with letting f of x and g of x be differentiable. And we have t of x again, similar to the sum and difference, as our product of f of x and g of x. Okay, so we differentiate the t of x, function t of x, using the limit definition of the derivative. So we have t of x plus h minus t of x all over h as h approaches zero. Then we substitute the input values, so our input values is x plus h, to our original function here. So we have now x plus h as the input values of f and g. And then of course, our t of x is just f of x times g of x, okay? Then we take out the grouping symbols, so we have this. Okay, so of course our goal here, so take note our goal here is to have an f of x, or rather f of x plus h minus f of x over h and also to have a g of x plus h minus g of x all over h because we want to have a derivative this this is the goal okay so how do we go about that so the technique here so it's actually a neat technique also uh, it's just adding zero actually we're only adding terms which is equivalent to zero so in this scenario, we add and subtract f of x plus h times g of x. Okay, so these are two terms which is equivalent to zero. So basically, we're not changing the value of the function here, or actually we're not changing the value of the limit rather. So it's just zero. We're adding zero. However, because of this, we can now manipulate the numerator. Okay, so observe that for this part here, okay, we can group this together and there is a common factor. Okay, grouping these two together to give us a common factor of f of x plus h, while here, grouping this together will give us a factor of common factor of g of x. Okay, so and we group them together. So, getting the GCF or the greatest common factor, which is f of x plus h for the first and second term. And for the third and the last term, we have g of x. Okay. We factor it out. Then, observe that we can take the limit of the terms. Okay. So, here we can actually have the limit of f of x plus h. So there is no actually a problem about that. We have the limit loss. We can also get the limit of this part here. We have g of x plus h minus g of x all over h, which is this. Okay. And also we can get the limit of g of x. So there's a plus, preceding plus sign. And then we can also get the limit of 
f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, so as you can see, we are now near our goal because we have these expressions here. And these are actually the derivative of the function, but before that, uh, we can substitute 0 to our h in the functions outside. So we have f of x here, while for the other term, we have g of x. Okay, and of course, these are already derivatives of g and derivatives of f. Okay, so we have the derivative of g of x and the derivative of f of x. So if we let f of x and g of x be another variable, let's say f of x is u and g of x is v, we'll get back to our uh, original assumption, okay, or rather our conclusion in the first part of this video. So f of x is u, g of x is v, g of x is v, f of x is u. So that's why we have u dv plus v du. And that's how we prove product rule. So let's proceed to the example. Okay, so suppose we have f of x equals 3x squared plus 1 and g of x equals 2x squared minus 3. We are asked to find the derivative of their product. Okay, so again, this is the formula. So we have u d u v equals u d v plus v d u. Okay, so our u here is actually f of x. Again, this is u. And then we have g of x as our v. So we write u, which is 3x squared plus 1, dv, which is 2x squared minus 3, plus v, 2x squared minus 3, du, u is 3x squared plus 1. Okay? So we're only going to get the derivative of this part here. Okay, so it's the second factor in every term. And we know that the derivative of 2x squared using power rule is 4x, while the derivative of 3 is 0, so 4x minus 0 is just 4x. Okay, it's just 4x. And of course here, derivative of 3x squared is 6x. Okay, so why is it 6x? Because again, it's 3, then 2 goes down. And then we have x, 2 minus 1 is just 1. And derivative of 1 is 0. So this will give us 6x. Okay. And then we simplify further. So 4x, we distribute 4x. So we have 12x cubed plus 4x. And then we distribute 6x. We have 12x cubed minus 18x. And then we add like terms we have 34x cubed minus 40 and this is our derivative 